Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. So today we're doing a roller coaster review. This is my very first review. And today we're doing Storm Runner Hershey Park. These are only the ones that I've ridden. So we are doing Storm Runner. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the first category. Um let's do history. So Storm Runner was released in 2004. It is um the very first hydraulic launch coaster at 72 miles per hour. It is a very fun ride. I could just tell you that right now, but that's not part of the history, but the history, the only part of history that it has was the very first hydraulic launch and it was opened in 2004, which was exactly 10 years ago by now. So, now we have Inversions, this is my second category, which is also could be known as maybe intensity, but inversions go towards mostly the category of intensity. Intensity, we get um the rate of a eight because the inversions are um very intense because the inversions have like a very big feel to it. They have some very unique versions with the snake dive, the flying snake dive. And also one of the biggest inversions, which is why I give it an 8, because the inversions are just intense. And the launch is also a very intense part of the ride, because the launch just goes like this. Get ready. Here we go. So, like, it gives you a very good feel of intensity when you go down that 72 mile per hour launch up, up there. Then you go down a 90 degree drop, so it's straight up, straight down over that top hat, which is a really fun experience, which is why the intensity is an 8. So now we have the launch, and which is also could also be the speed, but since it's the launch coaster, let's just say the launch. The launch gets a 10 because it the launch is probably one of the best launches on Earth. So is um the top three, top row dragster, King the Ka, Storm Runner. Storm Runner is, pro is probably like the second best though because of like the theming it has to the launch. It isn't just like a regular break. Then like it just like pushes you off. This one actually has a sound effect before it launches which is pretty awesome. And that's what I really like about this ride. So now let's go on to um the height. The height um... The height is 180 feet. The height, I give it a 7 because it's not too tall, but it's not too short. And the reason why is because maybe it's like, it could be bigger for a launch coaster that would go on a top hat. I would maybe give it like a 9 or something if it was like 220, 230, or more than that feet. But like, it's 180 feet, which is why it gets like a 7. But like, the the top hat is really cool with the... Go straight up, straight down, which is really cool. But then we have, um, I'm thinking, hold on a minute. So the overall rate is like a nine, if you ask me, because it's like one of the best roller coasters in the world in my opinion, that I've ridden. It's really intense. And now the drop. The drop is also a 10 because it's 90 degrees straight down. How could you not give a 90 degree vertical drop a 10? That's just impossible. Unless if it's like a 90 foot one or a 50 foot one. But this one is a really big drop, which is 180 foot drop. The top head of when it goes up is the same as it goes down, which is why it's 180 feet up, 180 feet plummeting down straight and right into that inversion that's like 130 feet which is even more awesome so it has very awesome features overall it's a pretty cool ride i really like it if you are in the pennsylvania or new jersey new york area then i would really suggest trying it but yeah so thanks for watching i will be doing more reviews since this is a new category stay tuned for more videos that not just this but because i'm gonna be having some emergency updates soon when zoom and jaro get some further updates goliath gets some fur further updates and some other 2014 rides that still come to open so thank you